All right, what's up, guys? Um, today you're gonna be learning how to make a ramped slow mo in Sony Vegas Pro 10. So first, what you're gonna want to do is um, get like Sony Vegas opened up, and then bring in a clip. Uh, however you do that, or however you want to do that. And I'm just gonna, you know, look around in here. Um, and, whoops, hang on. And so basically you just shape it where you want, or, I need to cut out some of this stuff right here. Um, alright. So, you know, just kind of trim it wherever you, whatever you don't want. You know, just the basic things at first. But then, kind of, you're going to want to zoom in a little bit. Or kind of a lot, actually. And go back to where you want to basically where you want to um start the ramp and I like to start it basically right where whoever's skating is popping like so that'd be about there so and then you just hit S to split it and then on your um arrow keys you're gonna um hit right two times S two times and then S and you just keep doing that until you want it to stop and I like to have nine clips after I, after I've split it just so um you that that way the ramp will um you know be smooth so I have two All right now let me see how many this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that's good. And then just move that way over. And then you're gonna um get this line thingy out of the way. And then you're gonna hit control. When you hit control you'll see you'll see this like squiggle squiggly line pop up under your cursor. Um you're not really you might you can kind of see it on my on the screen and then you're just gonna click so control click and then drag over two and then move that over and then the next one three and then four and the way I'm counting this is when I start to drag that one's five. There's like this blue line up here, and it tells you like how many times you've um stretched it, or how many frames you've stretched it. So that's five, and then this is six. Six is the most you can stretch it, and then you're and then after you get to six, you're gonna start going back down. That's why they call it a ramp, because it goes in, and then it's slow, or it goes in, and then it comes out, basically. And four, three, and this one's two. And then what you're going to want to do is um, overlap each um, clip over each other, over the other clip, just so it won't be choppy. So, you know, just do that. I'm trying to go, like, a little bit slower just so you can somewhat follow me. But since I don't have, like, a program to record my computer screen, I just have to use my camera. So. And then once you've done that, just move this all the way over, and then you're going to overlap that one. And then your next step is going to drag each of these sound clips down into a third audio track it makes another audio track automatically for you which is cool uh whoops and keep them overlapped one 
brain. That way you won't have you won't have choppy sound. Uh, so yeah. Now I've done that. Get that line thing out of the way. And then what we're gonna want to do is right click on each of these, click properties, and then check the lock to stretch box. Um, if you don't see the lock to stretch box, that means your method on the time stretch slash pitch shift tab is um or not tab but you know thingy um it's it need it's on none or classic but it needs to be on elastic and then just you know lock to stretch and do that for every oh whoops and then um yeah and then this is what a lot of people don't do and it makes their ramp kind of sound not too great on your most stretched out clip that'd be this one the middle one you're gonna want to get into the middle of that the very middle you'll be able to see where the middle is so that's right there and then what you're gonna want to do is over here well I'll just do it with the mouse over in this area you click touch and then you move this bar over to 3.9 whoops if you can't get it exactly just kinda click to get it to go and I like 3.9 because it sounds the best and um, if you keep your um, this line I don't, there's a name for it but I don't know the name if you keep that on the middle of the clip in the very center of your ramp, then it'll be like, you know, perfect. And then, you know, unhighlight, unclick touch so you don't like screw it up. And then you should be good. Um, let me make this bigger. So yeah, that was John John full cabbing the hip the same day he was trying all those kick flips down the hip. So uh yeah, that's how you guys should be doing your ramp slow-mos. Do them like me, don't do them like anyone else. All right, that's That's pretty much it. I mean, you know. Oh, and also one thing I want to say is if you're in the middle of like a montage and you want to do a ramp, and you've already had like another ramp in there, and you want to get that 3.9 sound, what you're going to want to do is basically click in the middle, like you did to get the 3.9, but you can't just start moving this thing because it's already set. All you have to do is um, get your little hand thingy, it looks like that, and put it right on that blue line, and it goes throughout the entire timeline. Right click and um, put add point. And then, you know, you'll have it. You'll have your good sound, if that makes any sense. Um, you know, leave a comment or message me if I was just rambling and you didn't catch something or you need help. Peace.